So here's a quick message to all you straight cisgender men who want to date trans women but are indeed afraid because of what society has to say about it. Oh, I want all my clothes designer. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Dawn Marie. Also, what do you guys think of this new uploading on a schedule thing? I upload now every Tuesday, um, just so you guys can kind of know when I'll be uploading, when to expect me, so that my videos don't get lost in the um, darkness abyss of YouTube. I'll be uploading from now on every Tuesday. Leave video ideas. Let me know down in the comment box below what you guys think of this new upload schedule. Also, go ahead and just hit that subscribe button while you're at it if you already haven't. You know you wanna. We're, I'll, I'll sit here and wait for you. I got the time, you know, I'm a YouTuber, so. It's right there, right there. You can do it, girl. You got this. Go right ahead. Today's topic is going to be about why men are afraid to date transgender women. So obviously the most obvious reason they don't want to be seen as gay. Most men think this is the case when it comes to dating a transgender woman because of our past strictly, which I don't understand because the girls that they used to date or girls that they do date used to be children, so does that make them a pedophile? Hmm gives you something to think about because like what do you mean i'm going to read you guys a small article about a straight cisgender male who is married to a straight transgender woman and what he has to say about the things that people have to say about him and the things that he goes through on a daily basis my experience with telling my parents of my sexual attraction mirrors a lot of men and women who come out to their families the difference for me i was coming out as a straight man who is attracted to trans women and unfortunately people like myself are often seen as an outsider to both groups. I have been called slurs by both communities. Many in the heterosexual community say I am gay and even many in the LGBT community say the same. That is what many men like me fear when it comes to being about open about our attraction. That will become a perrier to both communities and be excluded from either group. That is intel coming from a straight transgender male who is married to a straight transgender woman and says that he has to go through these things of people even within the lgbtq community calling him gay saying he's gay for dating a trans woman like come on people within the lgbtq community we can do better than that like we already have enough people in the heteronormative community calling these men who want to be attracted to trans women and love on us gay. We don't need you guys doing it too. There are many men out there who will be attracted to you on online dating sites and once they find out that you are transgender, their masculinity and their sexuality often are put to question. They even begin to question our womanhood as trans women and if we even are women to begin with. Or it can be completely opposite and that means that an exhausting stream of inappropriate fetishizing, dehumanizing, and sometimes even violent messages about our genitals, people expecting praise from us for fetishizing us. Let that sink in. And others assuming that my identity is either not authentic or repulsive in some way. When men start to find out that you're transgender, once you come out to them on an online dating site or whatever it is, they begin to backpedal to explaining that they're not gay, that they like women, and that whatever you have between your legs is not what they want, even if you are post-operation and you have a vagina. Sometimes these things even includes insults and slurs, calling you names of many, many, many sorts, especially not the name that your mother gave you or the name that you chose for yourself, you know, because you're trans. Some people, some trans people do keep their names. Comment down below if you guys want me to do a segment on my channel about how to choose your name as a trans person or a story time of how I um, chose my name. Comment down below if you guys would like to see that. Oftentimes, these same men who are attracted to me are interested in my femininity but are threatened by it because they think that either I might have a penis between my legs or they're afraid to have sex with me just because I did have a penis in my past life. 
you know, some trans women haven't had a penis for years, so it's not fair to judge based on what you think might be between their legs. And it's not even okay for you to be asking, hey, because you're a trans person, I think I have more the right to ask you, what is between your legs, ma'am? No, 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 no. This is an important time to note that in 48 states, it is an admissible legal defense in a courtroom to say that you were driven temporarily insane by the revelation that a trans person is indeed a trans person, which means you can also avoid charges by claiming that you were in such a state of insanity. Okay, so basically you're saying it's okay to murder a trans person. When you find out that they are trans or if somebody, you know, finds out that they are trans and started spreading it around the world, that it's okay for you to murder them and that you can just blame it on the level of insanity that you felt when you found out that that person was indeed a trans person. Oh, that's not transphobic at all. It's okay not to date a trans person, you know, because of hobbies, personality differences, you know, beliefs, body type, um, you know, religious beliefs, whatever the case may be. However, it is deeply transphobic to decide that you never want to date a trans person ever. The choice to draw the line is ignorance, fear, or just pure disgust of a trans person in general. Now that is transphobic. The transgender community is a massively diverse group. There's different body types, different genital configurations, there's different personalities, there's different hobbies, there's different relationship styles. So I don't want to hear about, oh, they weren't this, or they weren't enough of that, or they weren't enough of this. No. You're simply not wanting to date that person because they're trans. If you find out that a person is transgender and all of a sudden you're just, oh, I'm not interested, you have deep-rooted transphobia and it's not it's not hidden. It's, it's a fact. Another reason why men would be afraid of dating transgender women is because they are afraid of genitals that they are not familiar with. I really don't understand that because if a transgender woman has a vagina, it's like, well, you're, you say that you're not used to the genitals, but it's a vagina and you're afraid because it was a penis, but penises and vaginas are basically the same thing. A penis is just the larger, you know, growth of what a vagina is. Hence the clitoris. But um, we'll get into that another time. <laughs> I don't understand, you know, it. It's just annoying because it is a vagina, but you're so afraid of what it used to be that you just completely decide you don't want to touch it or deal with it at all. Well, we are not our genitalia. You know, we are women, we are humans. We're not our what's between our legs. So the sooner you get that out of your head, the sooner you'll be okay with the idea of a trans person. Another reason that men are afraid to be date a transgender woman is they're afraid to be seen in public with them. They're afraid that everyone will clock that trans woman's tea. Clocking means that everyone has figured out what your past life was based on certain features on your body, which is stupid to me another topic. They're afraid of what society will think of them. They'll be, they're afraid that people will think they're gay and they'll want to stick their head down in the dirt as soon as someone gives them a look because their brain instantly goes to, that person knows that the girl I'm with is trans. Oh my God, they think I'm gay. Oh my God, they think I'm this. Oh my God, they are disgusted of me. No, no one's really thinking about that. No one's really thinking about that. It's all in your own head, bruh. Another reason and a very important one is that Men are afraid to be challenged as a straight person. They're afraid that their identity will be challenged as a straight person. They're going to be afraid of the questions that will come with dating a trans person. You know, their guy friends will ask, oh bro, like what's between her legs? Oh, does she have a vagina? Oh, does she have boobs? Oh, like does that make you gay? Does it mean still mean that you're straight? All these questions that will challenge them as a straight person and they're afraid that they don't have the mental strength to even handle these questions coming from their friends and family. It's ridiculous. Another reason why men are afraid to date trans women is because of the stigma that society put on us and what their family will think. Now, a guy is so concerned with what his family, friends think, especially family. Like when it comes down to their parents, when it comes down to the mothers, they're probably not as worried 
or it depends on, you know, the family. But usually it is the fathers that these men worry about. And they're worried about if their father's going to see them as gay. And their whole sexuality will just put be put be seen as a huge question mark and they don't want to see that because that's their dad that's somebody who they looked at to on their lives and they're afraid that they're going to be disowned by their family which you know happens but you know you know it's it's it, it can it can happen both ways they can either be really bad and they don't accept it or it could be really good and they do accept it and they just don't care at all if you really love that transgender person that trans woman why does it matter why does it matter you love her she's a woman you know that you're not gay you know that you like women so why let you know, society and everything else get in the way of somebody that you love solely based on that person's identity as a trans person. You're really missing out on a bunch of great people if you really follow that stigma that dating a trans woman is gay. Another reason why men are afraid to date transgender women is because a lot of transgender women in movies are played by cisgender men, which usually have bigger body frames, more masculine jawlines, and even you can see their Adam's apple, deeper voices, all those things, and that's not really what transgender women look like. As you can see, my voice is not deep at all. As you can see, I barely have a visible Adam's apple, and my shoulders are not that wide to begin with. Now, although these things don't matter, it's just like, this is what society, you know, wants transgender women to look like. They want us to be perfect. They want us to sound like the girliest of girls. They want us to basically pass as cisgender women. But when we are passing as cisgender women, we're looked at as deceiving, we're looked at as liars, we're looked at as fake, and, you know, if we don't pass enough, we're seen as being lazy, as not trying hard enough, or, you know, even worse, being seen as men dressing up in women's clothing and just, you know, wanting to go into women's locker rooms, slash bathrooms, and be pervs and seek out, you know, other women. Girl, I have not the slightest, slightest attraction towards women at all. You know, also, trans women in movies are shown as sex workers, and it just puts a bad name on us, because not all of us do that. Now, I can say a lot of trans women do do sex work. Do do. <laughs> I'm such a child. I can say that a lot of trans women do sex work because they're either kicked out, and the circumstances based within their lifestyles. They can't control that their family is not accepting, and kicks them out on the street, and that, you know, there's not enough room in the LGBT centers, and their home so what do they do? They resort back to sex work slash escorting and get the money where they can. Also, trans women are, you know, being discriminated, discriminated against in the workplace. And because of Trump's doings, you know, now it's okay for people to, you know, discriminate against us for being trans and not be in trouble for it. There's no consequence. That's ridiculous. So here's a quick message to all you straight cisgender men who want to date trans women but are indeed afraid because of what society has to say about it. The first step to dismantling transphobia is to dismantle your own internalized transphobia. The second step is being honest and accountable to that process of growth and your allyship to help other cisgender people around you to grow with you. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you really liked it, give it a thumbs up because it helps me and you guys out. Also, be sure to share this video with your friends because you never know who might need it. Thank you guys so much for your support. I love you guys all so much. I am now at 9K plus subscribers, all thanks to you guys. I really appreciate this because I've been doing YouTube for two years. And, you know, you guys appreciate the content that I put out and you guys actually love it because you guys look forward to it which is why I made a schedule and which is why I upload every Tuesday so that my videos don't get lost in your feed and that you guys know when to look for me thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys have a good night or day wherever you guys are in the world be sure to subscribe and leave your comments and opinions down in the, strip, the comment box below and I'll see you guys in my next video next Tuesday bye Mwah.